Okay, so there have been a lot of talk on the family camping group about seam sealing. So I'm at Ace now and this is their rather limited camping section. And what somebody brought up was Coughlin's urethane seam seal. So as you can see, there's, there's probably a much older version back there. Stock is not so good actually if you look at it. They have three of it, one super old. And so this is what the R version looks like. Doesn't look like the one that's... There's an option with a brush on the top, but this seems to be not that. If you just want to take a quick read, it's a water-based seam seal. And positive you want to have a look closer at it. But basically, this is all it is. Uh, you probably get a tent out of this one, maybe a little bit more. But the price of this is... 40 bucks. That's working on that. So it's not exactly the most economical thing, but if you're just alone and just doing one tent, it, it would work, I guess. No problem on that. Uh, another option is over in another aisle. So here we are at the glues and sealant aisle. And a bulk option that becomes more cost effective if you start doing a lot is to use a 100% silicone cut with uh, odorless mineral spirits. So I'm not talking about things like this. This is just a regular silicone that we get. You can see it's 1190 on the shelf. What I'm talking about is something like this. It has to be 100% silicone. It says that there. You gotta look for that. And as you can see for the same tube, which is 82 mils, it costs 3890 so uh, if you cut it with one to one uh, ratio with a mineral spirit that will give you 160 mils for uh, one application of one tube at least uh, for record just now the Coglins was 59 mils at 38 ringgit so one to one uh, you will not break even. Uh, this is 38 ringgit and that's 38 ringgit as well. So let's go look for the price of the mineral spirits. And so we are here now at the solvent aisle. And what we need to get is here, odorless mineral spirits. So it has to be odorless. And this is a, a liter and it costs you 30 ringgit. So if you're going to do uh, one tent is probably not going to be worth it, but if you start going to do multiple tents or you're doing it with your buddies, this will probably break even on the third tent because one Coglins will probably get you through one tent. The thing is that is very liquid, so it does go in much faster. This is uh, will be quite much thicker and you'll be applying it with a brush. So it's probably going to serve you a lot better and longer. But once you've bought one can of uh, mineral spirits will take you a long way because the uh, silicone is uh, 82 mils and so you will be able to reuse that can and so the more you do it actually the cheaper it gets so just just your a little bit of information Ace Hardware carries the stuff that you need you can either get it the once off uh, Coglins or the mineral spirit with the 100% silicone and start doing that with your friends and have a seam sealing party and uh, redo all your tents. Oh, and uh, one other thing, to prepare your seams before you start applying a seam sealer, whatever it is you choose, whether it is Coglins, if it is the 100% silicone cut with mineral spirits, or even things like seam grip, the bespoke uh, other silicon sealers, you can, uh, you will have to prepare the surface and that's uh, normally done with brushing it down with uh, IPA or isopropyl alcohol. That can actually be gotten quite cheap on Shopee or Lazada. I think it's like uh, 30 bucks for a liter. And uh, that works good for everything. It's something that's good to have at home. It cleans off glue, it cleans off gunk. So uh, get, you'll need to get that as well. So that's another 30 ringgit. But I think whether or not you use Coglins or you use your own DIY sealer, you will have to spend that money. You have to spend that money anyway. Okay, one other thing that you may come across people mentioning is flowable silicone. This stuff. So um, I have to actually try this. Uh, when people say to use flowable silicone, they don't 
tell you to cut it with mineral spirits but it is not that good it's still a little bit too thick it doesn't flow and get into the grooves and the stitching that well so i would not recommend this uh, i would still recommend you getting pure silicone and cutting it with mineral spirits if you want to go through the pure silicone way okay so that's just uh, my thoughts on seam sealing and what we can get in malaysia i'm sure there's some other dedicated camping shops that probably have some other stuff but that's what I found today. Okay guys, cheers.